uh, 22 minutes before the top of the hour. Um, 3.38. Uh, coming up at the top, an extended version of Salem Radio Network News. And then Davy Bloom, Pastor Davy Bloom from Two Rivers Church will be in, and we're going to have a conversation. It's going to be kind of an open forum. Who is this Jesus anyway? You know, I, I, I keep reading these words in red. I grew up in Sunday school, and, you know, Jesus sat with the children, and he held the baby lambs, and, and you know, turn the other cheek, and, and forgive your enemies, and love them. And, and I, I know that's all true. I'm not doubting any of that. But the farther I read about this Jesus that I have fallen in love with is that this guy is a radical. I mean, he, he is anti-establishment. He, 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 he rebukes his own. He, he rebukes the Pharisees, the lawmakers, even the Gentiles he calls to his side and asks them what their belief is. And I just don't, I, I'm having a hard time reconciling this six foot tall, white, blue eyed, long haired, white robe wearing, peace sign making Jesus that I grew up with. And then I begin to realize that a lot of the stories in the Bible are not, they're not real accurate. Now, because I guess it's because of the Holy Spirit. I don't, I don't doubt my faith with all that, but I do have to be taught and, and trained in the apologetic world. What do I do when Joey comes up to me and says, well, you know, Christmas isn't really the time Jesus was born and, and everybody knows that. And because of that, then the Bible's not true. <sighs> Gee, many low information voters. So Davey's going to come in. He knows the Bible better than anybody. And we're going to talk about this <clears throat> again. I'm trying to get over this virus. Maybe it's the end of the world. Who knows? Bob, you had it last week. I've got it now. Frank, are you just healthy, wealthy and wise? Is that it? Yes. That's because he doesn't live with any girls. That's, That's why right. he doesn't have girl germs. That's true. Okay. I want to introduce you to Earl Ratcliffe. Earl is the president of an organization called SWIM. Uh, yes, it is spelled S-W-I-M, but it stands for Safe Water International Ministries. And the website, by the way, is Swim for Him, F-O-R, Him, Swim for Him, Dot info and this is all out of Washington, Iowa, and I want to welcome Earl and a buddy of mine who's in my uh, one of my Bible studies. Terry Butler is in today, so guys, welcome. Thank you, thanks, Max. And what you've got here, and and what I what I want to what I want to try to accomplish in this show is to give my listeners uh, another way for them to share the gifts that God has blessed them with, and maybe it's not just jingle in the collection plate. Or, as Chris Roloff's probably going to yell at me, money sent to the preachers that support this radio station. But this is actually a device that you can buy and uh, sponsor, and it gets sent to places that don't have safe drinking water. And these machines can clean that water. Did I kind of get that right? You did. Okay. Uh, welcome, by the way. Thank Thanks you. for being here. Um, you have in front of you what looks like to me like a motorcycle battery. Correct. And then a um, clear, well, you tell me what it is. Okay. This is a, we call it a chlorine producing unit. It's got two titanium electrodes in here that are the key, key elements to the machine. And so uh, they're made out of ruthenium, or excuse me, out of titanium. One's treated with ruthenium. We uh, mix salt water up. You know, hold on. I, you have to talk to me like I'm a six-year-old. What's ruthenium? Oh, it's a... Uh, Sounds like something you put in a baby Ruth bar. <laughs> it's, it's one a, of the elements. It's, a, it's an element that's put on chemically. Uh, okay. Electrostatically sprayed on. And what does that do to the titanium? It, it, it causes electrolysis to work efficiently. So it separates hydrogen and oxygen atoms, takes salt water, and makes it into chlorine and hydrogen gas. Okay, so it electro, ele electrolysis. Electro, electric, le electricity. Yes. Which is why you have the battery. Yes, 12-volt battery. All right, and so it plugs into the battery, and then you put water in it. Pour salt water through it. Pour salt water through it. So this would be for places who have salt water. No, we have to mix up a certain proportion. Salt water from the sea is not uh, concentrated enough. Okay. It's about 10 times that. So you put salt water and then dirty water. No, we just put salt water through it. And from the salt water going through this device five times, it makes chlorine solution. That's about 0.7% chlorine. About half the strength of what you buy in the supermarket. Then we take the chlorine and we add the chlorine 10 drops per liter to start with, into water 
let it set for 30 minutes. That kills the bacteria that's in the water and makes it safe to drink. All right. So let me ask you a silly question. Why don't you just send them chlorine? Uh, it's expensive. It's okay. expensive to ship. It's expensive to make. Uh, many people have been to developing countries with chlorine tablets and chlorine liquid. And when they run out, they just can't afford to to buy it anymore or All get right. it. So they go back to drinking water. So you're teaching them how to, well, the simple you're teaching thing, them how to fish rather than just feeding them fish. Well, the simple thing about our device is that everybody has salt. Salt is dirt cheap, available around the world. They take it off their table and they can make their own chlorine. That's five, five ounces that I have in this bottle here is made from about a tablespoon of salt. Readily available, wow. dirt cheap. Okay. They can make it day in, day out, replenish their own supply. And, and, and then they can mix it with the dirty water. Yes. That they have available to them. Yes. And then it's drinkable. The chlorine kills the bacteria and the diseases, the viruses that are in the water. It may not be pretty, maybe it's still dirty, but it has killed the bacteria and all the it ain't harmful hurt things anybody. In it. Correct. Bob, you're a scientist. I have a feeling you understood <laughs> all that. No, sure. Yeah. And now I'm, I know years ago they used to use iodine, you know, to purify water also you're familiar with that right i mean you can buy them for camping stores and right. that kind of stuff yep. and what's the advantage of uh, the chlorine over iodine well once again the advantage is salt is dirt cheap around the world when i was in haiti a couple of years ago they had it by the wheelbarrow in the marketplace and it was dirt cheap available to anybody and everybody everybody has it in their house well one of the big advantages of using chlorine over iodine is there's no taste so you don't taste the chlorine in the water it's the same the same way we disinfect water in the United States is the same way this unit works. So it's low concentration of Very low concentration. chlorine. Correct. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's multiple ways to disinfect water. You can use uh, reverse osmosis. You can boil it. Uh, you can run it through filters. But once you put it into a bucket, and that bucket's unclean, somebody sticks their hand in it, they stick a scoop in it, they run a chance of being sick again or okay. contaminated. With chlorine, we have chlorine still in the water, so it stays safe. Now, when I hear the name chlorine, I think of the public pool that I used to swim in. <laughs> and I didn't like the taste of that water. Uh, high concentration. It, and is that why that's high concentration and this wouldn't be? How about the water you're drinking right now? It has chlorine in it as well. I, I have people, I, I drink tons and tons of water. I yep. drink, uh, I try to drink about 160 to 200 ounces a day. I'm, I'm lucky because that's really all I drink is, is uh, water. Um, but I have people tell me I'm just crazy to drink West Des Moines water or Des Moines water right out of the tap. And that's all I drink. I don't, I'm, a, I'm way too cheap to buy bottled water. <laughs> it, is that water that I'm drinking safe? Yes. Safe. And it's been chlorinated. Okay. Yep. And the water that you're making here or that these people can make in these third world countries, it's, it would be similar or the same as what I get out of my tap. The chlorine that we make and they add to the water makes it safe for them to drink. Okay. Yes. And so um, they don't get infections, they don't get diseased, they don't get cholera. Cholera, yeah, I was just going to say. Correct. Why is it that sometimes our city water tastes like it's got a little bit more chlorine than other times? Is it, uh, gen and generally that happens during the winter months. It's possible that they could um, uh, charge it with extra chlorine. One of the things about our chlorine, too, is it's made from natural ingredient salt. We don't add... Um, any agent to uh, prolong its life and so what they add they have they have to uh, add um, agents to, to make it last longer right give it a longer shelf life we don't do that we uh, we make our chlorine and add it to water so it's 0.5 to 1 percent or parts per million uh, in the drinking water you won't taste it until it gets up five six times that and is that what des moines water is five, I, don't, six. I don't know specifically about des moines all right so uh, Earl's here and Terry's here to talk about this. How can you help? Uh, when we come back, we're going to tell you because this is something that you can help uh, third world countries, um, uh, anybody who does not have safe drinking water. And we all know that we need bread and water. You know, that, that's not just an old prison joke. We need bread and water. And here's how you can help some of these countries. We'll come back. We'll tell you next hour. Davy Blue in the studio live here on the truth 99.3 ktia iowa
Credit cards are like grandkids. They love you, sometimes get out of control, and it's fun to get a new one. Who can stop them from piling on? Hi, I'm Tom Coates with Consumer Credit of Des Moines. At the end of the day, you can return the grandkids, but you're stuck paying off bad credit card debt. We'll help you put the fun back into using credit cards responsibly. Right, kids? Yeah! If you need help getting credit cards off your back, call Consumer Credit of Des Moines. Hi, my name is David Burrier, your Hope Coach. I host a live weekly talk show called I've Been There every Thursday afternoon at 5.30, right here on webcast1live.com and on my weekly radio program Saturday mornings at 10 on Truth Network 99.3 FM. I interview common everyday people who have survived incredible life challenges and who testify to God's faithfulness in the midst of their storms. So join me as we bring a message of hope and encouragement Everybody needs hope. I know, because I've been there. Rockton Prevention is celebrating 25 years of creating a caring community. We want to say thank you to the tens of thousands of Rock High School mentors that have carried our message of health, love, and encouragement to over 1.5 million children, teachers, and parents. Our mentors teach children methods and skills to prevent bullying and drug use. Thank you to all the school administrators, teachers, and counselors for the opportunity to serve you. Rock on, fair citizens. Rock on. This is Pat McManus for Rock and Prevention, the Richard O. Jacobson Foundation, and this station. From the REMAX Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. Ten minutes before the top of the hour, top of the hour Salem Radio Network news. And then at six minutes after the hour, my special guest, Davey Bloom, will be in the house as we have a fairly frank it might be offensive to you. I, I don't know. You know, I don't mean to offend you, but I, I'm going to question some things about the Bible. I'm not going to question faith. I'm not going to question the Trinity. I'm not going to question the Holy Spirit. I'm not going to question that Jesus is the Son of God. But, but the more I read these words in red, the more I, I don't know this Jesus that I grew up with in Sunday school. Remember, I'm new at this. Jesus mugged me about five years ago. Before that, I was a God guy. Uh, couldn't figure out why we needed Jesus. If you had a relationship with the Father, what do you need with the Son, right? Well, Jesus came to me in the middle of the night on July 20th of 2011 and told me why. <laughs> in no short, uncertain terms, why he was my Lord and Savior and why I needed to surrender my life to him. So I've been studying him. I have fallen in love with him. But he's not the guy that I grew up with holding lambs and children running to say, Jesus, Jesus. He's a radical. I mean, he, he made everybody mad. So Davey and I are, he's coming in and we're going to talk about that. And it's, it's your voice we'll want to hear on that, by the way. 515-244-0077. Uh, special prayers today going out to uh, Jan Michelson, longtime friend of mine, WHO, Michelson in the morning. Uh, Jan had a stroke uh, last Saturday. He was airlifted to Iowa City. He is currently being treated. I understand that he's not in life jeopardy. He, he, he's going to be, he's not going to die. I mean, he's going to die of something someday, but he's not in a dying situation right now, but he, he does need our prayers. He's had a stroke and uh, he's got, uh, he's got some, some issues. And so our prayers uh, go out to Jan. Good Christian man, uh, better Christian than I was am forever and ever. Good man, good father, good, good, good husband. And so prayers out to him and whoever you hold on your heart today in your prayers, we lift those people up in prayer too. God, please, please know who's on our heart and who, who we're asking for prayers and heal them now, heal them in this lifetime or the next, whatever your will be done, your will be done. Max World Live with J. Michael McCoy. Ryan's producing Frank and Bob in the seats. Bob is on the computer with the chat. He's the cat in the hat watching the chat. So you can chat at webcast1live.com or you can give us a call at 515-244-0077. Earl Ratcliffe is the president of SWIM. S-W-I-M. No, it's not a YMCA program for toddlers. It is a Safe Water International Ministry. He's here with uh, Terry Butler, and uh, we're talking about how you can help support this ministry in creating. Now, I want to see if I can get it right. It, it, it literally is a very small toolbox. Comes with like a motorcycle battery and some plastic dingy thing you made. And you, you put something in there, salt, and you charge it, and it makes chlorine. 
and then you add chlorine to dirty water, and 30 minutes later, that that dirty water is drinkable. Correct. Did I get that right? Yes. Did. And what is one of those, if a listener wants to help you pay for one of those kits, how much fresh water, fresh is probably the wrong word, how much clean water will that machine produce for that dollar? One of these devices we have uh, in multiple localities in Nicaragua, for instance, and one of these devices will treat enough water, enough, enough water for 400 to 500 families. 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 How many people in a family? Five people in a family. We so you're talking about 2,500 people. Yeah, yep. Correct. Over over its lifetime? No, that's oh, over just yeah. one use. One, one use, every day. And how many uses? It's unlimited. It's made out of PVC, titanium. It doesn't wear out. As long as you rinse it out with clean water when you're done, it'll last forever. Can you rinse it out with the water you've cleaned? Yes. Okay. Why are you passionate about this? <laughs> I'm passionate about it because, well, I was asked to be involved in 2009 when Greg and Vicki Stout, our founder and, and designer of this, went to Nicaragua and he said, I need somebody to take the reins while we're gone. And at that time, we were making them out of PVC that you go to the hardware store and buy, the white stuff. It's three by two reducer, a PVC pipe, but it was taking an hour and a half to make one. It was taking $150 to make one, 20 pieces. We did some process improvement to this. We now have about six pieces. We can make them in 10 minutes and our cost to make these is about $25. Okay. So the, the other thing is Greg and Vicki were distributing them in Nicaragua and to, to fan the flame, you have to light fires in various places. And we want to spread the gospel uh, by doing this in multiple countries. So for instance, we're in 27 different countries with this device right now. One person can't do it all. So <clears throat> people will always want to get involved. So we came up with a method in which we could produce these easily, rapidly, with high quality in the back of a trailer. So we have a trailer that has seven workstations on wheels, mm. and we take it around to churches, to foster group here in Des Moines, to, uh, we've been as far as Tulsa, Grand Rapids, Michigan. We, we unload this, and within three hours, that organization can make uh, 50 of these devices and donate uh, to the cost of the, or the expenses to make them as well. And what does it cost to finally make a whole kit? To make a whole kit, we, we ask for a donation of $50. So uh, to make 50 of these is about $2,500. Okay. Yep. Frank? How much uh, water can they make on a, on a full battery charge? Uh, that's a good question. Um, now you're talking about chlorine water. Well, yeah. yeah not right. water water, chlorine. Right. But how, how, how long will that battery charge in that battery last before they have to recharge the battery or do something with the battery? In, in, uh, in most locations, um, you'll find that transportation is usually a motorcycle. Uh -huh. And so if you keep the motorcycle running um, you, and you shut it off, but every time you start the motorcycle up, it recharges the battery. So essentially this, this unit, in, as Earl said, in eight minutes can make enough chlorine for um, treating 250 gallons of water. So it, the battery, is it coming with the kit? No, we we look to buy those locally. We want to support that local economy within country. You can't ship batteries; it's harder to ship batteries. So we typically, yeah. with the kit, will provide funding if they need. So you're just batteries providing well. for them the device, along with the uh, chlorine test kit, instructions, oh. bottles, eye droppers, everything they need to be able to Good. use the kit. Effectively. The batteries you can buy on the ground anywhere exactly. in any yeah. third world country. Yeah. All right, so uh, our listeners can go to swimforhim.info swim for f-o-r him dot info uh, and that's where you can get all the information I will give you a phone number 641 I'll wait till you get a pencil and paper I know I'm sorry 641 629 6280 now I'll tell you guys my, my listeners are awesome with this. You may not see an automatic response. It may be something they put on a Christmas list or they buy for their grandkids or something for Christmas. But uh, we appreciate you being here today and sharing this information with us and especially uh, on the ministry you have. On the back of the kit it says Philippians 2, 3 through 5, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. Each of you should look not own not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. Your attitude shouldn't be the same, or you should be the same as that of Jesus Christ. Swim is a nonprofit 501c3 ministry, and your gifts are tax deductible. 
We thank you for checking into this, and we thank you guys uh, for being here today. All right? Going to take a break. Salem Radio Network News is coming up next, and after that, who is this Jesus guy? An open conversation, and your voice is welcome. 515-244-0077. We're coming back here live on The Truth. <laughs> 